Namaste World Razor Sabina and Roger here. Let's watch Ananta Shesha, the snake bed of Lord Vishnu. So as you know, we are watching Ramanan Saga's Ramayan right now. And of course, we got questions. So we want to dive into what are these other characters all about? And we know Sheshnag is... Balram. I mean, Lakshmi. <laughs> One of them. Both of them, actually, for some reason. I still have Balram on my mind. <laughs> yeah, Lakshmi and Balram. So, so we do know about that, but we don't know everything so hopefully this clarifies some points exactly so let's check it out friends before we dive into the video we want to shout out and thank jumper loving kindness more about them at the end of the video oftentimes hindus adore and worship not only devi devata and upadevatas but mm -hmm. also their Upa vahanas Devitas. such is the case of sheshanag also known simply as Shesha or Adi Shesha. This large snake wow. is the Nagaraj or the king of the Naga race oh, is it? and wow. one of the primal beings of creation itself. What? Cool. Adi Shesha wow. holds an important position in Hindu philosophy, art, culture and literature. In the Puranas, Shesha or Sheshanag is believed to hold all the planets of the universe on his vast hood. Wow. An what? ardent devotee of Lord Vishnu, he constantly sings the glories of his Lord from all his mouths. Hmm. He is sometimes referred to as Ananta Shesha, which means the endless or the infinite one. Wow. Sweet. When Adi Shesha uncoils, time begins to move forward and creation starts to take place. Hmm. When he wow. comes back to his coiled position, time stands still and universe ceases to exist. Adi Shesha is depicted as a massive coiled snake and one that floats in space or on the ocean of milk. According to Mahabharat, Shesha was born to Rishi Kashyap and his wife Kadru, one of the daughters of Daksha. Huh? In due course of time, Kadru gave birth to a thousand snakes, of which Shesha was the eldest. Huh. After him, Vasuki, Eravat, oh, yeah, and Dakshak yes. were born in that order. Many of Shesha's brothers were cruel by nature and took great pleasure in inflicting harm upon others. Uh, uh, uh. Kashyap also sired Garuda through Vinatha, Kadru's sister. Shesha's brothers were unkind to him as well. Wow. Disgusted with the bad behavior of his brothers, Shesha left his family and decided to undertake severe austerities and penance. He lived merely on air and meditated in number of places including Gandha Madana, Badrikashram, Pushkar, Gokarna, and the Himalayas. Himalayas. Pleased with his dedication <laughs> and devotion, Brahma appeared before Shesha and told him to ask for a boon. Ooh. Shesha requested that he should be able to keep his mind ah. under control mm. so that he could continue with his ascetic practices. Bestest boon. Brahma gladly bestowed the boon upon him. Brahma then asked a favor of Shesha to go beneath earth and stabilize it. Mm -hmm. The latter was only too happy to be given the new responsibility. Cool. He immediately went to Patal hmm. Lok, raised his hood and balanced the earth over it. It is believed that he supports the earth even today. Hmm. When Vishnu came to earth as Ram, Shesha accompanied him as his ever devoted, ever loving younger brother Lakshman. Hmm. Lakshman's devotion and dedication to Ram was exemplary. He selflessly served his brother, never once thinking of his own comfort. Mm -hmm. When Ram went on exile, Lakshman left his wife behind and accompanied his brother to the forest. There, his main mission mm -hmm. was to serve and protect Ram and Sita at all times. Mm -hmm. When Vishnu manifested as Krishna, Shesha came along with him as his elder brother mm -hmm. Balaram. One lesser known legend of the Mahabharat claims that Adi Shesha was present along with Krishna even during the great war of Kurukshetra. According to the story, oh. the divine serpent supported the wheels of Arjuna's chariot, thereby also protecting the Pandava prince from harm while on the battlefield. Hmm. Wow. Never heard After that the one. end of each of Vishnu's avatar, Shesha returns back to his abode in the Patal Lok. Did you know in every avatar of Vishnu, Adi Shesha would die before him? 
It is important to know that as Lakshmana and Balaram were the incarnation of Sheshnag on whom Lord Vishnu resides, it is essential for Shesha to die before the incarnation of Vishnu so that when Vishnu gives up his life and returns to Vaikuntha Dham, Ananta Shesha is ready to serve his Lord. In both of Shesha's avatars as Lakshman and Balaram, he ended his avatar before Vishnu to serve Lord Vishnu in Vaikuntha Dham. I have no idea, to be honest, how they passed. Yeah, we have no idea. Yeah, so we definitely can't wow. watch the Ramayan one because spoilers yeah. <laughs> might be in what we're watching right now. But it wasn't in the Mahabharat. No, no I still so, don't know how so he's going to hmm. die. That Balaram? Yeah. Anyways, 99% uh, of the video I did not know and also 80% I did not understand. Yes, yeah, so we need to break down. Somebody wants mm. to take on the task, let us know everything step by step. So the one thing that was similar was, but I never heard this version of it before, but just the, you know, the creation and the dissolution of the universe and this you know, scenario, it's basically Sheshnag's hood that when it goes outward, it creates the universe and then it coils up and then that's the dissolution of it. Because we've heard different yeah. versions of that before, but I think just all symbolically representing, you know, the same thing. There's only one thing happening and we could talk about it in different ways. So Brahma, the creator, and then Shiva, the destroyer. Mm -hmm. Well, this is talking about Sheshnag being the creator and the destroyer, or if it's taking yeah, okay. place on his okay. hood. Okay. I don't know. So a little bit confusing. And then, yeah, a lot of words, like where he was meditating and stuff. Yeah, we've understood the Himalayas, but the rest <laughs> might have been different realms. Oh, yeah. So he is the king of the Nagas. He's Nagaraj. Yeah, it sounds like it. He's the king of all the Nagas. So my favorite part, and actually surprisingly the most unconfusing to me, is that Sheshnag was Lakshman and Balram. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was also said that Sheshnag appeared in the Mahabharat, but as a different name. Like he was born to... Mm. It was said the father and the mother and something with the daughter. Yeah, and I but think it was not Balram. So it was like, what is going on? And I was think that was part of the ancient history, which in the within the Mahabharata, okay, which is yeah. even so before. probably went even older in the texts than what was in B. R. Chopra's okay. version. Because remember, B. R. Chopra's was like quite a f a bit past, and then it would jump ahead a lot. Okay. Sounded like this story is even more ancient. Okay, okay. So like, before Balram, then. But it was also said that Sheshnag was present during the war, which means Balram was an incarnation. So again, of many incarnations at the same time. Yeah. Not just one incarnation. Because Balram was off time. somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he didn't join. Unless he snuck underneath the chariot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's why he didn't join the he war. Was like, he was hiding under there. But they're not hiding, protecting. But well, that's why he said, I can't be fighting in the war because I actually have to protect. Yeah, I didn't mean hiding, like out of fear. But, oh, okay. But like a ninja, right? So unseen, but there to protect. Oh, okay. Wow, our discussion here really sneaky, is something else. Sneaky <laughs> <Bob>. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. Anyways. Well, it was, a, it was a lot in there, a lot we have no idea about. Yeah, so we need some of you Sanatan Dharma geniuses <laughs> yeah. to help us ex explain it. Yes. Other than that, it was cool. Yeah, very interesting, but wow. But what? What? <laughs> but what? <laughs> God, I'm so sorry. It's it's really hot in here. It's like... We don't need to be sorry. We can have some fun. Have okay. Some fun in this video. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. But sorry about this. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us. And a big shout out to Jampa Loving Kindness. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and keeping these bodies fit and healthy. I'm taking relieve right now because I'm hard at work and I'm sore all the time. And relieve is doing what it says, relieving my pain. And also I've been taking some of that sore muscle cream, the heat gel, fantastic. Anybody got sore muscles? Check out Jampa Loving Kindness. And they got all sorts of other things for whatever might ail you. Check them out, link in the description. And make sure you use the code RAISETHEWORLD25 for 25% off your purchase.